Hello friends, uh, today we are going to talk about career planning for engineers like you. Uh, here we are going to find answers to uh, following questions which I think are very relevant to this current context. Uh, like uh, what are the career opportunities available for uh, people like you are doing engineering and how the industry is growing and what are the career uh, avenues that are opening because of globalization. Which are the areas like design, research, production are applicable to me. Then uh, how can I really, uh, what are the corporates looking out in pressures when they hire us? Uh, what is the long term career plan? How can I set my long term career plan? And then how can I increase my earning power? So next uh, 10 minutes I think I have made efforts to present uh, some aspects of it. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. Hello friends, here uh, we are going to talk about how we can make right choices in, uh, in career for engineering industry. Uh, this is uh, my version of career progression. I call this as career tree. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the options that are available for us to build up our career, like industry, uh, academics, consulting companies, IT related companies and government. Uh, there are various job openings available at all these sectors. The second puzzle that we need to resolve at our level is that what is that I am suitable for? Am I suitable for design? Am I suitable for research or production or management or operations? Once we resolve this uh, puzzle, I think we have we are 50% uh, uh, towards our career path. These uh, couple of slides will help you to uh, really start thinking what are those options uh, that you like or would like to build up your career path. The research uh, deals with new principles and more of mathematics and inductive reasoning. So if you are a person who likes to discover new principles, have a good inductive reasoning, I think this is a good career path for you. Similarly development where you use research of results and apply it to machine processes. Design of course is, is a very uh, a widely uh, Design is a very widely uh, selected career path amongst engineers, where we work to where towards where we work towards uh, meeting the technical requirements of uh, the product. Uh, design is most widely used uh, career path for engineers nowadays, uh, where the primary responsibility is to work towards meeting the technical requirements of the product. Similarly, production, where uh, we work on plant layout processes and tools. Uh, a bit of hard work in the machine shop, operations is on controls of manufacturing, uh, supervising the workforce and the last but not least and very important is the management aspect of a career in the industry uh, which, which involves customers solving economic, solving economic problems and uh, dealing with variety of uh, economic uh, related organizational development. Just to give you a, a few glimpses about how uh, we can build up our career. Uh, if you took an uh, example of a car, uh, there are typical 7000 components and each component is different in its own way. Engine is different, tires are different, body chassis is different, the seating system and door trims are different. And there are different skill sets that are required to design and develop these type of components. If you took example of, uh, if we take example of aircraft, there are about 5 million components. Uh, and uh, they are technologically advanced. So if you have aspiration to uh, work in a niche area or technological area, aeronautics can be one of the uh, career path which will make you happy. Every company or industry goes to a new product development and 90% uh, uh, of the employment comes from uh, the economic growth of the industry that is to the new product development. Here uh, 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 it is my desire that you associate what you learn in your engineering with your long-term career path. For example, uh, if uh, we want to work in uh, the first phase of the vehicle development like the product definition, styling, then the subjects like uh, advanced mathematics, engineering design, CAD, ergonomics are very important which are on the right side. Similarly like mechanical vibrations, reliability methods, uh, mechan mechanism analysis are important in the second phase where we do aggregate design and detailed design of the individual components. In a typical organization, uh, this is a typical organization chart of uh, automotive company uh, where there are different departments uh, working in, in concurrence for growing the company. 
I, I want you to look at this slide from a domain knowledge point of view because each of these department are expert in something or the other. You need to find out what department you are most suitable for and which department you will like to work with passion. The time has come up for you to start thinking about which department you can start your career. These are some examples of domain knowledge. Uh, domain knowledge simply is the knowledge that will help you to answer question why the things are the way the things are today and what was the evolution of the technology behind those things. Third important aspect of career is the relevant software skills. As we know there are so many languages in the world and we don't uh, uh, desire and aspire to learn all the languages even though we wish. Similarly in the industry every company uses different softwares, different technologies and we should uh, utilize our four years of our engineering education or thereafter to learn specific softwares that are required for your long term career path. For example, uh, when somebody wants to work in design, various options available are Pro Engineer, CATIA, Unigraphics, Solid Age, SolidWorks. So depending on the initial research that we do on the company, you select the software that is appropriate for you to learn. The another important area which provides career growth is analysis, where uh, the engineers if make efforts to simulate the prototype. Uh, in the virtual world. Couple of softwares I would like to mention here are Pro Mechanica, Hyperworks, Jute, where is Hypermesh, Motion Solve, Radios, Nastran, Abacus. Each of these softwares are meant for different purposes. For example, suppose uh, one wants to build a career in noise, vibration, harshness, uh, he can take up Nastran. If somebody is very curious about the fatigue life of the components, he wants the robust design, he can take Abacus as a as, uh, the foundation for foundation solver for his uh, uh, solving his curiosity. Nowadays, the manufacturing uh, widely uses the softwares like Delimia, iCreep, Hyperform, and I think students like you should make yourself aware uh, what areas you want to go and take up these initial uh, initial knowledge, which will help you to uh, get uh, ahead in your career. While developing a product, uh, there is a lot of data that gets generated and all this data gets managed through an area called as PDIT, which is a growing career path for using students since 2005. Typical softwares uh, that are used in this area are Windshield, Team Center, Innovia. So the students who, who want a bigger perspective of product development and work on databases who have a flair for IT, uh, this is a wonderful career path for them. This is kind of very interesting uh, slide uh, presented by industry. Uh, here they are telling us what what is that they are expecting from the fresh engineers coming out of the colleges. Uh, you must have seen there is aptitude test, the technical test, HR round, campuses, and uh, apart from the qualifying criteria of overall 60%. What do essentially industry expects from you is uh, the good grasp on the basic fundamental principles of core subjects like strength of material, applied mechanics and machine design. They want you to be aware about the manufacturing processes. They want, uh, they want to assess you based on your analytical thinking process. Of course the CAD courses that we talked about adds to uh, your employability etc. Uh, these are they call as essential attributes. Uh, but uh, the life is not very simple and there is often a stringent competition. So in case of a tie, uh, they look out for the desirable attributes and they will help you to fetch more money and more negotiation power for uh, the given job description that you have. A uh, few important things uh, I would like to mention here is uh, your understanding about the product, overall product design process, your uh, appreciation for statistical methods, your uh, desire to look at the product from the commercial viability point of view, your additional skills at Six Sigma, etc., plays very important role in uh, getting selected in uh, a multinational or a big companies which provide a broader perspective for your career growth. Uh, this has been a question which uh, had been bothering me for a long time. I'm sure this might be the question in your mind. Like, what is that industry is expecting? Do they need the people who are expert in one skill? or they need the people who are multi-skilled. Uh, the initial research uh, uh, has shown that till 1990s, 
uh, industry was respecting the people who were expert in one areas uh, and they were respecting the depth of knowledge the individual had but in the global scenario since 2000 industry is, uh, is preferring the people who are multi skilled and have a more breadth of technical knowledge rather than the depth of technical knowledge so these are good indicators for you to start thinking which areas and how you can be how can you sustain your career in long way uh, to summarize uh, uh, here is uh, uh, this this chart uh, will summarize what uh, we talked about so far first is uh, you need to give enough attention to your academic life for four years make sure that you pass with more good marks and develop passion in the subjects uh, which are required for your long term career path second is be focused on the domain knowledge be focused on the, the project that we take in final year that will give a clear indication to the interviewer which direction you are you want to excel your career acquire relevant software skills don't run after learning all the software but become expert in one particular software keep keep your options available by learning various quality standards that are applied for the product design enhance your soft skills many times uh, we have seen that uh, uh, the soft skill plays very important role in decision making for hiring uh, the candidates uh, try to acquire relevant practical experience be uh, be uh, passionate and uh, curious about the general knowledge and uh, technologies that are coming for the future and and plan your career systematically uh, this particular section uh, will talk about uh, uh, how we can set up our career path this is this is not a magic wand where we can we can say okay i am a design engineer it is a step by step process after the 12th standard when you get into engineering start thinking about which industry you want to start your career can be automotive can be aeronautics can be construction equipment can be biotechnology and various tests are available that will help you to uncover which industry you are more suitable for in the first year you try to acquire some basic knowledge about the industry by doing some research and taking some extra courses in addition to your academics second year you are little more matured try to take some courses on processes like six sigma design for reliability third year is the year for campus placement so we focus on interview skills group discussion communication skills and of course the fourth year which is very vital year focus on the domain knowledge can be a specific area of interest and the current need of the industry i am sure and i have observed that a systematic planning for four years will help you come very closer to your dream job and it will never be late for you to get there now this is what i have learned in my life the harder the way you acquire the knowledge the longer it stays in your mind so there is no uh, free lunch available or there is no shortcut available for career planning or growth you have to work hard and that is only the way you can get ahead in your career thank you very much